Okay, the idea is to solve this second order differential equation using the Euler method, method for systems. But the first thing is that we don't have a system here. We want a system of first order differential equations and we don't have one. We have a second order differential equation. Then what we do is we create a system. To create a system, we make up this function, x, x equal dy dt. And now we're going to create the system. The system would be dx dt equals something and dy dt equals something. Once we have the system, we can apply the Euler method. Notice that this one is already here, dy dt is x. And now dx dt, dx dt, dx dt is the derivative, the second derivative of y with respect to t squared. But then we can solve for that from here, right? Then this is t e to the 2t minus 2 dy dt minus 2y. Solving from here. And, but dx dt is my x, then I can write 10 e to the 2t minus 2x minus 2y, right? And we have the system. And what are the initial conditions? What, are, what is x of zero? x of zero is dy dt of zero, y prime of zero, which is one. And y of zero is two. Then we have the initial conditions. Then uh, we do a table. Here we write the t's, then the x, the y's, the m sub i's, and the n sub i's. This one goes with this one, and this one goes with this one. The m sub i is whatever is in front of the dx dt. Then this expression here would be space this would be 10 times e to the 2t sub i minus 2x sub i minus 2y sub i this is the m sub i it is going to affect the x and the n sub i is going to affect the y and is whatever is in front of the y dt in this case this was this one is just x sub i then uh, we start the process, and when t equals zero, the t sub zero is this value, zero. It doesn't have to be zero, but in this case it is. The x sub zero is one. The y sub zero is two. And then the m sub zero is what we get when we replace t with this, x with this, and y with this, then I'll get 10 times e to the zero is 10, minus two is eight, minus four, it will be four. The n sub zero would be uh, x, it will be the x, it will be, in this case, it will be just one. Notice that the next t is, you just increase the previous one by delta of t. Then the next t would be 0 0.01. And, and the, the next value for x, the way this increases is x to i plus one is the previous one plus m to i times delta of t. And the next y is the previous one plus n to i times delta of t. Then this one would be one plus four times 0 0.01. Then this would be 1.04. The next value for y is going to be the previous one plus the slope times 0 0.01 and this is going to be 2.01.
Now, uh, the next one is a little more challenging and I will need a calculator to do this because here in, in the T, instead of the T, I need to replace 0 0.01, right? And then I multiply by two and I do 10 times e to the e to the 0 0.02 minus two times this value for x minus two times this value for y. And when I do that, I will get 4.10, And this one here is just the X. Then here, this one will be 1.04. Then uh, the, next, the next value for T, I just increase by 0 0.01, then I get 0 0.02. And remember that the next value for x is the previous one, 1 1.04 plus 4.102134 times 0 0.01, right? That's the formula. And when I do this product, I get 1.08 1020. 134. The next value for y is the 2.01 plus 1.04 times 0 0.01 and that value is 2.0204. Now to get this number here, actually since I want to estimate y of 0 0.03, I want to estimate this number here. This is 0 0.03, and notice that to compute this number, I don't need this one. I need only this one. This one is 1.08102134, and then the next value for y, The next value for y is going to be the 2.0204 plus 1.08102134 times 0 0.01. And this number is 2.03121201. Then this is our estimate using the Euler method for y of 0 0.03. It's 2.03121210201. And we can also find the exact value. Then we can find the error. But to do that, we need to solve this diff initial value problem. Uh, to do that, let's do that. We know that the solution of, of this is the solution of the homogeneous plus the particular solution. In this case, to solve the homogeneous, we need to solve this quadratic equation, lambda squared plus two lambda plus two equals zero. And the solution for this is negative two plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 2 over 2 and this is negative 1 negative 2 plus or minus a uh, square root of negative 4 over 2 and this is negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2 and this is negative 1 plus or minus i that means that the solution of the homogeneous uh, we have that this is alpha plus or minus beta i. Our alpha is negative one and beta is positive one. Then the solution of the homogeneous is C1 e to the negative t, alpha t, cosine of t, beta t, plus C2 e to the negative t, 
sine of t. That's the solution of the homogeneous. How do we find the particular solution? We look at the non-homogeneous part. We look at the non-homogeneous part and we look for something similar. A e to the 2t. Then we just replace the first derivative. Let's compute the first derivative is 2a e to the 2t and the second derivative is 4a e to the 2t. Then I replace here. Then the second derivative is 4a e to the 2t plus 2 times the first derivative plus 2 times the function. And we want this to be 10 e to the 2t. That means that here we have 4, 8, 10 a e to the 2t equal 10 e to the 2t. And that means that our a is 1. That means that the general solution is a c1 e to the negative t cosine of t plus c2 e to the negative t sine of t plus uh, e the particular solution which is e to the 2t right? the particular solution a is 1 e to the 2t we want to find the c1 and c2 to do that we need to do the derivative here y prime is negative c1 e to the negative t cosine of t minus c1 e to the negative t sine of t minus c2 e to the negative t sine of t plus c2 e to the negative t cosine of t plus 2 e to the 2t. And then when I replace t with 0, I want c1 plus 1 to be equal to 2. Right? This becomes 1, this becomes 0. And for the other one, I want negative c1, this is 0, this is 0, plus c2, plus 2. I want this to be equal to 1. That means that c1 is equal to 1. And then C2 must be equal to, C2 is equal to zero. Yes, C2 is equal to zero. That means that the solution of this initial value problem is Y equal to, the C1 is one. What is the general solution here? Is E to the negative T cosine of T uh, plus e to the 2t. This means that I can find the exact number. To find the exact number, I just replace 0 .0 0 0.03 here, and then I get e to the negative 0 0.03 cosine of 0 0.03, make sure to have this in radians, plus e to the 0 0.06. And this is equal to 2.03184512412. And then the error would be that number mean minus this number. That would be the error. Zero point zero zero four. Yeah, that makes sense. I think then there is another zero. And, and then six and then six three five two one one uh, one two three four okay to the negative four okay yeah. then that that would be the this would be the error.